Hi everybody, it's Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and the last few weeks I've been showing you guys a lot of projects that I've done with new product from our new upcoming catalog but I haven't had the opportunity to really put anything together on camera for you guys so I thought I would do that today. Uh, I'm making some cards for my downline. At the beginning of the month I like to do cards for the top and sells and so I also kind of wanted to use up some of my product from the spring catalog and um, that's getting ready to our spring catalog will be done in a few weeks and so I thought it'd be fun to use this print right here this is from the Prince of Poetry stack and all I've done is I've taken a whisper white piece of cardstock and I've cut that right down the middle at four and a quarter and folded it um, so it opens up like this. That's my favorite way to make a card. And then I've taken this pattern piece of paper and I've taken a quarter inch off. So I've cut it at four inches by five and a quarter and I've layered that on there and I've already done that. And then what I've done is I've taken a whisper white piece of paper, piece of cardstock, and I have, I was looking for my ruler so I could give you guys a measurement. Oh, right here. So this is two inches by four inches. And what I've done is I've just taken my butterfly punch and I've flipped it over and then I've just put this right in my punch and I've kind of I've made it go all the way to the bottom so I've pushed this piece of paper so it won't go any farther and then I've just kind of eyeballed and put it right in the middle and then I've snipped that out and you can see they're not exactly perfect but that's okay so then what I'm going to do is a couple things to this layer I have this stamp set and it is friendly fit phrases and I'm going to use this one it says here's to you. So I thought I would use um, raspberry ripple and I would go ahead and stamp that right above my punched out butterfly. You guys can hear the kids sorry they're being loud it's kind of bedtime. So it's kind of a little bit loud around here. So now that I have this piece, I'm going to do um, another thing. I'm going to use some Baker's Twine. So then I'm going to take some Baker's Twine. A lot of our Baker's Twine is on the retiring list. We're not going to carry that many um, now. So if you like our Baker's Twine, you might want to stock up. So then I'm just going to wrap this several times around the bottom of this. I like to do like at least four times. I feel like that gives it a really good amount. And then I tie it once in a knot just so it will stay. So then I just snip off the ends like that and then I can adjust these strings by just pulling on them, opening them up a little bit so they're not all just smashed together. That's why I like to do several, like at least four. So now I have this piece and I can bring my card back over and what I'm going to do is just take dimensionals and I'm going to put several on here. I'm going to put two in each of the corners and then one right by that butterfly because when you punch something like that, that's going to tend to droop down. And then I'm also going to put my dimensionals right over my baker's twine. Now that my, I can stick this right down now that I've taken the backs off the dimensionals. And I'm going to put that right up top just like that. And then I'm going to take some rhinestones that I have. And I just like to use my craft knife to pull them off. They already have adhesive on the back. So I just like to peel these up and then I'm going to place this right in the middle of my butterfly, right on the pattern paper. Just like that. And then this is really fun. So these are some butterflies that I had left from my paper pumpkin kit. So the paper pumpkin kit is this kit that I get in the mail just every month. You subscribe to it and then it comes and it's like this really neat surprise. You don't know what's in it. And it's, you know, different projects, different cards. And this was from some of those, from some of my pumpkin 
pumpkin paper pumpkin kits and I had a bunch left over and so I kept them because I didn't you know want to really get rid of them and so I pulled these out and I thought I would use them on these cards so I just put one right there so I did one in um, this pink and then I did one in this green so those are how they turned out and I just love them they're just very simple a lot of fun and then I'm using up some of the supplies that I've had laying around so thanks guys for tuning in and make sure you come back on Friday and I will have a brand new love and life scrapbooking kit up and ready to go for you on Friday thanks so much for coming by guys and I'll talk to you later